5G takes center stage at CES 2018 with actual deployments later. By the time CES 2018 wraps up it's likely that you'll hear the term 5G so much that it'll seem like next generation speedy wireless service is already here. 5G is progressing, but let's not get carried away. 5G refers to the fifth generation wireless broadband technology based on the 802.11 acre standard. Speed and coverage for 5G will be better than 4G and potentially compete with services from cable and telecom providers. Think low latency wireless speed up to 1 gigabyte per second. These fast connections are likely to enable a host of business applications and smarter Internet of Things deployments. At CES 2017, 5G was talked up a good bit. This year CES will feature talks about how 5G will revamp industries and enable everything from smarter homes to business to autonomous driving. Also, Executive's Guide to Mobile Security, free ebook Now 5G is promising. To wit, AT&T will offer 5G in 12 markets by end of 2018, but more importantly the company is focused on specific use cases. Jeffrey's analyst Scott Goldman noted, Verizon is plotting a broad 5G rollout starting in 2018 with a positioning that goes head-to-head -head with cable companies. Verizon is thinking residential and then business and eye it for its 4G launch. Verizon 5G to launch in Sacramento in 2018 standards for 5G have come together well with the supplier ecosystem Qualcomm, Intel, Ericsson and a hot of others aligned. 5G specs approved. Set stage for next-gen business mobility, Ericsson leads 5G interoperability test with global carriers as Connet noted, however, it's unclear how much hardware will support 5G in 2018. The timelines are also traditionally muddy. Just because a product is announced at seas doesn't mean it'll land anytime soon if at all. The other wrinkle here is that the term 5G is also going to be abused to the point where in some camps it'll be more like enhanced 4G. Chris Duckett recently noted in our 2018 preview, the next generation of mobile communication is slowly and deliberately coming together, and it will be known as 5G. But as far as consensus goes, that's pretty much it with 5G, everything else about it is up in the air. The problem with 5G is that it doesn't have a definition, and that means some telco is probably going to slap the label into a slightly faster than LTE connection at some point. Nevertheless, 5G will help the battery life of IA devices and enable more analytics at the edge of the network. 5G will also be a boon for analytics as well as latency in the IA field. Like all technology shifts, the rollout of 5G may be a bit complicated. IHS Market noted in its 2018 Trends Preview, in a chart, the 5G timeline goes something like this, 5G's impact, which we will hear about non-stop at CES 2018, will include the following, while 5G deployments will be shrouded in more video consumption and entertainment the returns are likely to be all about business use. CES 2018 is likely to be the second installment of 5G chatter leading up to actual deployments and real use cases in 2019.